Convenience stores can be found all over Japan and they are a part and parcel of the Japanese way of life. And since we are in Japan for our first stop of our year-long travel, instead of going out to a fancy restaurant where we spend thousands of yen on a meal not knowing whether the food will be good or not, we will only purchase food from a konbini one of the most popular places Japanese people get their food from. The goal? To celebrate our first country visited together for our one-year travel with a date night. After all, convenience store food in Japan is high quality and would not burst our budget. So here are the rules. We'll head out separately to get food from only convenience stores and surprise each other. The date night will be held at our Airbnb and we have a budget of 2,000 yen per pax. What are we waiting for? Let's go! Hey guys, so it has been a week since we began our trip here in Japan for our year-long travel and we have been going into and out of convenience stores over the past week so I'm pretty familiar with convenience stores around Japan you can probably see Tokyo Skytree behind me. It's my first time walking around without Aaron. I hope I do not get lost. I do not really know what Shara is going to get me for tonight, but I'm hoping to impress her with maybe some form of a three course meal from a convenience store. So my theme for tonight's dinner is red. And what that means is that I will only get things with an element of red inside. It sounds easy at first, but the more that I think about it, actually it sounds pretty difficult. Right now, I'm walking to my first convenience store, which is Lawson. And I'm going to Family Mart. This Family Mart has been like one of the biggest I've been to so far, and I'm impressed that it's very well stocked. I'm already distracted, the variety is crazy. They also have beauty products and Muji pens too. Maybe it is this that I need to get for her. This is the green onion miso soup. Maybe I'll get one of these as well. I hope this really goes well with egg. Maybe it doesn't, maybe it does, I do not know. So for the base, I was thinking maybe I could get one of these noodles over here that has some flavor and sauce already. I think this shrimp dumplings is going to be pretty good and goes well with the noodles. Maybe I'll get like endamame as well because Shah really loves her endamame. I think I would also get this too, the salt grilled salmon. Um, I think that would also add to the color of this dish too. Okay, so now onto paying. So I just got out of Lawson. I think I spent like 15 minutes in there, walking around and around, trying to find things that are red in color, but turns out there are so few things that are red in color. Most of the main dishes were like either white or brown in color. So I had no idea what I should be getting. I had to walk around a couple of times and I finally found some things. The first is a drink that I've seen in a lot of convenience stores. And the second thing that I got was this dorayaki. There is red bean in the inside, so I will count it as red. Just done with Family Mart. I bought about 1,400 yen worth of products at Family Mart. There's about 600 yen left, so I guess maybe I'll go to another convenience store and figure that out. For the two items at Lawson, I spent a total of 423 yen. Okay, let's move on to 7-Eleven. Any manga fans out there? This is what I was saying, everything is brown or white. Where's the red? I was looking around Google Maps and I came across this convenience store that was relatively unknown. It's called Mini Stop and I think I'm going to head there right now. Okay, I'm going into Mini Stop. Oh wow, this looks huge. This is as big as my face. There's also a Capri salad. I wonder if it's really fresh, this is apparently new. There is yogurt, some sushi, seven ingredients in one bento box. This one also, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. A lot of ingredients in just one big bento box. Chocolate chip cookies, this is only 100 yen. I really love to get something like this right now. There's also this dish that is just salmon and it looks really appetizing. I just got out of 7-Eleven and I got two things. One is a main, which I think is some form of curry rice. And the second thing that I got was a blueberry smoothie. The blueberry smoothie is something that I've always wanted to try ever since we got to Japan. In total, I spent 875 yen at 7-Eleven. So here's what I'm deciding. I found this cream pancake with maple and whipped cream. And maybe I'll get like some fruits that goes above it. Bananas or something like this. I think that would make it a lot healthier. 
Okay, so I realized that I have still some money left, so maybe I could get like some milk tea as a drink as a final dish and could bring that tomorrow too. Their first 7-Eleven didn't have many things, so I'm heading to a second 7-Eleven. Hopefully there's more things there. Should I get this melon pan for myself? Where are the red things? Finally some red, I have to get this crab stick. I'm convinced pink is a lighter shade of red. I ended up spending 672 yen on some cherry tomato, crab meat and a face mask. I do not know if everyone will like it. I feel very proud of myself for spending 2,000 yen or less for this entire date night. I think it's going to be a great meal. I just have to go back and cook all the ingredients that I brought for her, whip up a three or four course meal. I think she's going to be really, really impressed. I think everyone is back. Oh, you're back so fast. I got you a bunch of stuff from this place called Mini Stop as well as Family Mart. I think you're going to love this three course meal. Do you know what my theme for yours is? I really do not know, but I'm really excited to find out what you have for me. So let's start preparing, shall we? This is the green onion miso soup. There are also other flavors too, but I chose this because I think I love the scallions in the picture. It smells so good already. Shar is going to love this miso soup so much. What is this? Okay, now it looks nice and appetizing again. So Shar, this is what I call the Garden of Lovely Delights. It's a mixture between warm as well as cold. So you can also add a little bit of this sesame oil and I hope you enjoy the food. Hmm. I like that there's many textures inside. The soft from the soft boy egg and hard and crunchy from the edamame. And everything tastes very umami. 9 over 10. Hmm. For the miso soup, it's not too bad. It's just that it's a little bit too bland for my preference. Maybe I'd like things a little saltier. And I think Aaron put too much water because it's quite difficult to hold. 6 out of 10. Thank goodness that at least one of the two first courses is actually good. Okay, now it's my turn to give Aaron his first dish. The first dish that I got you is some cherry tomatoes. And if you can guess, my theme for this dinner is red. And the reason why I got you cherry tomatoes is because I think that we need to eat a little healthier. We've been eating a lot of carbs and protein but not enough veggies and fruit. These cherry tomatoes are huge. It's like the size of my thumb. As soon as I saw this, I was quite amazed because like, can you believe that convenience store fruits or vegetables can be this perfect and this fresh? Wow! I have no idea how the Japanese does it over here. It's super good. Number two, berry smoothie. I really love this blueberry smoothie. It's cold and it feels like it's freshly made. I actually got this more for myself instead of Aaron because I've seen so many people on Instagram and YouTube try this from 7-Eleven. I really love this blueberry drink. I'll give this an 8 out of 10. Two points deducted because I wish it could be a much bigger cup. So for the second course, I think this is going to be very, 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 very special. I think Shar is going to love this a lot. I'm actually quite excited for this. Because number one, I love instant noodles. Number two, I love salmon. And number three, I love siu mai. I know you can't smell it, but this smells amazing. I'll try the salmon first. Mmm. This actually tastes really good. I wouldn't have known that this is a ready-to-eat meal. From texture, I can already tell that this is a very fresh salmon. Next, I'm going to try the siu mai. So it tastes more like a fish cake, but a more mushy version of a fish cake. Not bad, but I wish the skin was crispier. I do not know how did a soup instant noodle turn into a dry noodle. <laughs> I think it tastes too much of the noodles without any seasoning. First, full edamame in Japan. I love edamame. In fact, I usually eat this as a snack back at home. I can still taste the salt in it. I love it. So Sha, how would you rate this entire second course so far? 9 over 10 for everything, 6 over 10 for the noodles. So the next red item I got is this 
curry rice. I chose the curry that was the redest amongst all the curries that I found. Next, I have two side dishes to go with the curry don. First, I have red crab stick and second, I have red hot spicy chicken. This is so good. I also love the entire redness in there. It's like different tones and shades of red. I can't wait to tuck in. I think this is chicken. It's very tangy. And the way that like the curry coats over it, it soaks so much of that curry flavor and it's so delicious. Mmm, yummy. I'll rate this a 7 out of 10. 3 points deducted because there needs to be at least 3 more pieces of chicken. Sha got me more chicken. This is the fried chicken that she said is pretty famous from 7-Eleven. So I'm going to try this fried chicken. The chicken seems like it's marinated in a lot of different flavours and textures. A little bit spicy, a little bit chewy as well and the outside is just perfectly crispy. I'll give this a 10 upon 10. This is actually really good. I'm going to steal Aaron's chicken. He gave this a 10 out of 10. How good can that be? The flavours are seeping into the meat. That is how you know the chicken is good. Next up, this crab sticks. I hope it's chewy. Not bad, just a regular crab stick. At least it's not mushy or whatsoever. Okay, so this last course is going to be a combination of three different ingredients put together. And it's all going to be sweet. Unfortunately, I couldn't get waffles for you, so to substitute it, I got pancakes. Thank you. I'm going to try to get a bit of everything on my first scoop. This is like one week's worth of sugar intake. <laughs> oh. But it's so good. The pancake with the whipped cream is actually not too sweet, which is really good. The banana is a natural type of sweetness. And the sneaker bar itself is so good. There is the caramel and also the nuts, which I love. I would rate this 12 sneaker bars over 10. Shoo. And for my last two items, I got these for Aaron. The first red dessert, I think it's called the Dorayaki. It looks brown, but there is red bean inside. And for the last item, I have no idea what this is, but this is another thing that has been intriguing me ever since I came to Japan. I feel like it's some energy drink, like the Japanese version of Red Bull. Am I going to sleep tonight? It's all part of the night. <laughs> anti photic ingredient, something something amin. Vitamin B2 and B6, taurine and royal jelly. Okay, I'm going to give it a try. It's like some jelly drink. And it's like great kind of jelly. This actually tastes like medicine. Like a cherry flavored medicine or something. Thanks, Char. Your urine is gonna be so yellow tonight. <laughs> I'm gonna try this Doriaki next. It weighs quite a little bit on my palm already. I bet this Doriaki is gonna be really good. There's so much cream in there. Despite my first bite, I couldn't get to the red bean. It's super good. It's super delicious. I love it. I could eat this all day long. I have a last gift for you. What is it? Oh, a face mask. <laughs> Every date has to end with a gift. This was the closest to red I can find, although it's pink, but I think it's a light red, right? <laughs> and I also have something for you too. I forgot to bring out just now. It's called the Lipton Milk Tea. I think this Lipton Milk Tea, you can have it today or tomorrow or anytime when you feel like having milk tea as we travel through Japan. So I hope that you guys love our date night special. Follow us for more adventures around Japan and around the world. See ya! Bye! Bye. Thank you.